one thing I wanted to bring to everyone's attention is um, how, how with a shift change, how your distance to the line changes. So let's say here, you know, you have a left shift um, or a pin and favored start. And you can see like your actual distance um, to windward to the line is quite short, but the distance to sail to the line becomes a lot longer in a left shift. So if you have a left shift, immediately start thinking, I have to, I have to get going sooner. I have a lot more distance to sail to the line. Um, you can see how the ley lines here, the red lines, create a really narrow um, starting line box for you. So you have to set up closer to the line, but you're, even though you're closer to the line, your, sit, your distance that you have to actually sail to get to the line is a lot longer in a left shift. And can I also make the point that it's sailing upwind on a close haul? Yeah. Right? Like the pin is almost upwind of you. So you're sailing close hauled, whereas if it was a square line, it'd be more of like a reach. And we all know you go faster on a reach than you do close hauled usually. Um, and so the time that really affects your timing. Often we'll say like it's a left shift, so add time or go earlier because you're sailing close hauled. You didn't have this big reach build. You know, you're not going very fast. And so, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. And the opposite would be done dun, dun. <laughs> right shift so right shift um, or boat favored starting line it's a lot easier to close that distance to the line so if you recognize a right shift in the start just remember hey i might need to pump the brakes a little bit here and, and not be as eager to pull the trigger um, you can see um, the distance to the line is a lot shorter um, with a right shift and starting on port becomes a lot harder as well um, so it's really, remember, right shift is a lot easier to eat up distance to the line. And something you can do to help you understand shifts during the start is when you, when you, tack, when you make that final approach on starboard, just take note of where your bow is lined up with anything on shore. And then if it changes um, throughout the sequence, then maybe you're experiencing a, a shift. Hey, Steph, I have a question for you. So yeah. in this diagram, what if there was a big bunch of boats hanging out to windward of the race committee boat? waiting to start late? Like, would they have any, how, how would that go for them? That's a, that's a really tough position to be in. You really don't have any rights there. So you would have to wait for boat A to accelerate um, in order to have your space to go in there. And especially if it's a right shift, yeah. boat A just needs to like basically start moving forward and then close, it'll close the door so easily on you. Um, and that, that space is not gonna open up, so.